If you want a home that will impress your friends and your closest colleagues, well, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. So make sure you watch till the end of the video because this is a rare gem here in Ayala, Alabang Village. with you we actually had a bit of a hard time shooting the facade because there's barely any facade to shoot because there's so many trees and just natural landscape going on which is actually a great thing because that means this house blends in seamlessly with nature right don't you agree so from the street you only see your gates on either side actually uh, vehicle gate on the left and then the one on the right is permanent and then you see the stone structure in the middle. And then the house itself is hidden behind this massive and beautiful tree. So, for us to see the actual house itself, which by the way is very beautiful, we have to go in through the gates. So once you go in through the pedestrian gate, you have here some stone steps leading up to the main entrance. And even still, while standing here, you barely see the house itself which i think is so mysterious and endearing but instead of going up the main entrance i want to show you the driveway so again you have all of this beautiful uh, stone walls and then you have a paved pathway over here and i gander you can fit about four four vehicles over here na magkakasunod and then from here you have a pathway over there that'll lead you to the back. But before we head there, let's look at this portion. So you have this outdoor patio here on the lower ground floor or ground floor. So you have a lot of space. You have a garden there on the right side. And then it's still nice and lit without being exposed to direct sunlight. So obviously you have some doors over here. That's going to be your uh, staff quarters as well as their toilet and bath and some storage over here. But this will lead you to the house itself. So you have sliding glass doors that will lead you to your living area. It's nice and modern, minimalist, but has a lot of texture and character. Very mid-century inspired. So you have the seating area where you can entertain your family and friends, have meaningful conversations here, and feel like it's a very private yet open space. At the end over here, you have some nooks where you can display art and artworks, as well as secret storage right here. That's pretty cool. So it's not just negative space, it's actually useful storage, but it looks very clean. From the sitting area, you have more glass sliding doors that lead to another patio, but this time it, is, it has a view of your front lawn. And that is the gate that you saw from earlier, na hindi nabubuksan. So it's just more for letting the air flow through as well as having a view going out and versus going in. So ang ganda. Ang ganda na may ganito kang area na very open, pero wala naman talagang dadaan dito. So it's just meant to be a peaceful corner of your home. And then, ganda talaga. I love natural stone walls. So even inside, you have them. The stones are dug up from the lot? They're, they were dug, okay, the stones were dug up from the lot and then, then used... They, that, 25 igorot from Mountain Province to shape the stones. Wow, okay. So, just in case you guys didn't hear, they got 25 igorot to shape the stones. 
as they as they are and then they used it for this one. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I didn't know. So that is lahat lahat ng bato dito. All of the adobe stones and there's a lot of it. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I'm so glad that they decided to do that because it brings more meaning to the design of the home. Okay. One step up from the living area, you have this sort of courtyard where you have a zen garden and it goes all the way up to a skylight. So there are only two floors, but all of it is high ceiling, so it feels so much higher, but still very cozy. Yeah, there's more. Oh, three floors, my bad. There's three floors. Oh, thank you. I thought there were only two. So that's going to be a surprise for, for me and the viewers. Well, not anymore. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of the bedrooms, but someone's in there right now, so we're not gonna go in there. Dito muna tayo. So in here you have your kitchen. It's nice and bright. Oh, what an adorable sink right in front of the window. So you have your sink over here, your ref, and then your stove. Perfect triangle for preparing food. You have a door that will lead back out to the carport or the driveway that we saw. And then again, the stairs at the end of that goes to the back. We'll find out later where that leads to. Lots of storage. And then you have a bar over here for anyone who wants to have breakfast. So it also serves as a breakfast nook. You have stairs over here that I'm going to assume leads to the bedroom so that it's easier to serve food going there without having to go through, huh? It's a kitchen. <laughs> it's a kitchen? Yeah. And it's a kitchen on the second floor? Okay, so there's apparently a kitchen from here, pero tama rin naman, so that you don't have to go out and go to that area of the second floor. Okay, so we're gonna go up there in a bit, but first I just wanna share that the staff quarters is here as well. So you have a room over here, and then I'm gonna assume this is the toilet bath. Ay, may tao, may tao. Okay, thank you, po. That's why I should always knock first, but at least I didn't open the door. <laughs> Then you have pantries over there, so storeroom and a pantry, and and dirty. a dirty kitchen. Yeah, so your dirty kitchen, very well lit dirty kitchen or service area that also serves as your laundry. This is storage. But now I'm curious, because originally I wanted to go back out. Should we visit this now, or can we go up the kitchen later via a different route? You can access. Okay, great. Para lang hindi tayo malito sa flow. Kasi mahirap yung pabalik-balik. <laughs> okay. So, back out into the main area. And let's check out one of the bedrooms here. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, so you have bedroom number... Well, technically two. Kasi bedroom din yung isa eh. So, you have bedroom number two. You have lots of space. Relatively high ceiling. It's not Super high, but it's slightly higher than the usual. Then you have an old suite, toilet and bath, with lots of mirrors. And behind that is your wardrobe space. You have your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space. And then from here, you have sliding glass doors that lead to an outdoor area and your swimming pool. It feels like a hidden swimming pool. Well, because it is. You can't see it from the street. In fact, I wouldn't have guessed that there was a swimming pool here. Uganda. So it's just perfect for laps. You have an area over there with some storage and then stairs going up the water feature and then back out in the, uh, in the backyard, which you and I still don't know about, so we're gonna find out later. This is really neat. You get to swim in peace and in private. And on this side, you have a shower room. Sorry, John, puro <laughs> salamin. Oh yeah, that's nice. Easily accessible and hidden. This is actually also perfect as a guest bedroom, but if you didn't need a guest bedroom, perfect as a, an elderly room. Okay, now let's head up the main stairs. What? Wait a minute. Sorry. 
so pwedeng nakasara lang yung mga glass panels. Tapos ito lang yung door na mabuksan nyo, I guess. So may choices ka. <laughs> Paling pinto yung gusto mong gamitin para lumabas. Okay. So before we head out, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at resell underscore official. If you want to see more houses and layouts like this, make sure you go to our website so that you can see the 3D renderings of different houses here in AAV, Ayala Alabang Village. And so you can see more houses beautifully designed like this one. Again, that's www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. So here by the mezzanine in between the ground floor and the second floor, you have this picture window that lets you peer out to the front of your property, but you barely really only see, you barely see it because you only really see plants. <laughs> you can see the beautiful tree right in front of the property, which in itself is a natural artwork, as well as, of course, the plants uh, placed there. The stairs are made out of these really smooth Brazilian mahogany, and then you have handrails made of metal painted in it's off white it was a light gray oh and then you have more picture windows up there which again lets you see the beautiful tree okay where do we begin here on the second floor it's a big open space with areas to go to i guess we na natin to so you have a family area over here again perfect place to just sit down relax have conversations with your family or just spend time by yourself in one of these armchairs and read a book <laughs> from here you have access actually this entire area you can open so this these two walls are filled with glass sliding panels or doors that you can open up so you have an indoor outdoor situation let the air flow through but on this side you have a balcony which kind of feels like a courtyard due to how it's designed you have another tree here in the middle you have a tree on the second floor you have a view of the front of your property and then on this side you have a view of your swimming pool there's just i love how you have these little pockets where you just have trees so even for this one on the ground floor like you have a rock garden right with a tree but now looking at this oh it's another courtyard like uh, area or pocket with a tree very, very mid-century. In fact, highly reminiscent of Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, work. So you can't actually go to this balcony coming from that. You have to go in and then out again. Currently, no furniture out in here. It doesn't need any. But if you did, you do have a lot of space. Para meron kang maupuan while you're listening to the sound of the water features. Meron din kasi sa baba. Or if you just want to savor the breeze because you are in Ayala Alaban, the air is really nice. It's cool enough and it's quiet. See what I mean? You have so many areas to go to. Okay, so from here, let's go left to right. So here first. So you have another uh, sort of, it's not an ante room, but really it's another, hmm? it's a receiving area. So it's. A receiving area from the main this is the main door I completely forgot that we didn't go through the main door Wow okay so that is the main entrance or this is the main entrance right so if you go up this is where you will end up in and frankly this is the first time ever na ho ng solid na stainless steel the main entrance. <laughs> I'm amazed. Feels very industrial because it is it's stainless steel. But I don't know. It doesn't it looks so solid. Like it doesn't feel like those. Even if it's stainless steel. That is so unique. Okay. So you so this is basically uh, a receiving area, not an anti room. It's still open. You have handrails over here, so when you open the windows, it feels like you're in a balcony of sorts. It feels like you're outside, but you can close this up. Para pag may aircon, okay lang. And then from your receiving area, you would have that view. Then from here, you can go 
to an area that you want to go to. So this one, for example, is I want to say it's a conference room because it's on the second floor, but it can be a dining room and probably is a dining room. Wait a minute. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh I was right. Yeah. Yo. Oh, this one. Okay, it's a binet. Sorry, I noticed this. You don't know the one in the middle. I'm going to go to the storage. No, it's a door. <laughs> okay, so this is the kitchen on the second floor. What the guys were talking about. So, for context, no, I'm not going to go to the bahay. This is also my first time viewing it with you. Okay, so you have a beautifully lit kitchen over here with your stove, your oven, your sink. Lots of light coming in through the windows. Built in China cabinet and shelves, storage, and then refrigerator. Ooh, and then a door that leads to the stairs that goes down to the kitchen that we saw earlier on the ground floor. Now, I was also informed that the kitchen stairs also act as the abang for an elevator. So if you wanted an elevator, that's what they would use. Nagulat <laughs> That's what they would use. Okay, so let's go back. I know there was a door over there, so we'll probably find out where that leads to in a bit. All right. Ingaling. So I thought it was storage because of these things. So I got curious. Nico inexpect na pinto siya. I love finding secrets like that. Okay, so from here we have yet another uh, courtyard area. And this time you can see the skylight as well as the top of the plant. And then from here, is this a door? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Oh, it's a powder room. So you have your toilet, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a hexagonal sink, right? It's six. <laughs> Just making sure. I don't want to say the wrong geometric shape. So, okay, so you have your powder room over there. And then across. And over here, you have an office. So this office has a view, of course, your indoor courtyard, as well as access to a balcony. Again, that will lead you to your swimming pool. So it's very, obviously this is heavily inspired by mid-century as I mentioned earlier, Frank Lloyd Wright's organic architecture, which is essentially a seamless blend between indoors and outdoors and what is man-made and what is organic. And I can see that ang ganda ng pagka-implement. Okay. No, no, no. I'm sure there's another. May ibandan yan, I'm sure. So we're not gonna go through that door. But remember that door. Okay, so this office has built in shelves already. Again, lots of natural light coming in from both sides or two sides of the room. And then on this side of the courtyard, we have three doors. So one of the doors will go back to the kitchen stairs from earlier. And then this one, all right, leads to bedroom number three at this point. Yes. Oh, beautiful flooring, nicely built. So you have wood, solid wood planks for the bedroom floors, and then stone tiles for the common areas. The bedroom has high ceiling, and then lots of windows for natural light. And then these are also sliding doors that will lead you to your backyard. You probably go there later. And this has an all suite total bath with a vanity behind the door, your pedestal sink, a toilet, and then an enclosed shower space. What kind of windows are these? Okay, so you can but I forgot the type of window, but you have windows right above the shower. Then across bedroom number three will lead us to the bedroom that I peeked in earlier. Pero ito talaga yung 
So you have bedroom number four with a door that leads to the balcony. So this is the primary bedroom. So you have lots of space, beautiful colors. See, I love how the stone tiles peek through. Within the wall itself, they decided to expose it and just use stone tiles to accentuate it even more. So you can see that on all four corners. You have lots of light coming in from the windows as per usual with this beautiful house. You have a sliding door over there, but wait, let's check out the mass, uh, the primary toilet and bath first. Wow. So you have a val uh, balcony. <laughs> you have a vanity over here, and then wooden pine floor dito, diba? And then one step up, you have the actual ensuite toilet and bath with your toilet, your enclosed shower space, your pedestal sink, and then your bathtub. And your bathtub has a ledge over here. You can put your products in, or you can sit in if you want. You have steel rails if you want to put curtains so that you don't get any of the areas wet. I love that. Then you have, again, lots of natural light coming in from the windows. And what's nice is, I don't know if you can tell, hindi ka kita ng mga kapitbahay mo. Even if you don't have a wall treatment, uh, window treatment or covering. Okay, so now let's go out here. So this is your backyard. You essentially have a garden and it's up to you what you want to do with this garden space so you can go down here and go to the swimming pool a cute so the water feature that you see you can actually cross this part metal wooden planks don't ready much and and then you can go down to the swimming pool so you have a waterfall just like Frank Lloyd Wright's most famous work. If you haven't seen it yet, it's easy to Google Frank Lloyd Wright architecture. He has a legit waterfall going through his house, but this one, close enough. So your primary room will lead you here, as well as one of the bedrooms, or the bedroom right across uh, that one. And then on this side, you have more uh, outdoor space to set up some seating if you wanted to and then the stairs that will lead you back to the driveway it's it's very enclosed right the property is very enclosed you have lots of stone walls but it doesn't feel enclosed it feels very open still good architecture all right you told me there were three floors. Am I missing a floor? <laughs> there's one more? Wait a minute. All right, yeah, there's one more floor up the main stairs. Let's go back out, uh, back in. Is this open? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go in from the bedroom. So you have a skylight, and by the way, frosted, so you don't really see the top. I wonder what's on the third floor. I love how there's different patterns. Talaga. You can see the woods character. Kahit na sinan, kahit na sminudan out, tsaka may varnishing. Oh, okay. I see you. Okay, so third floor, you have a private family area. You can have your TV over here. It could be a gaming area with consoles, but it could also work as just a meditation area, gym, yoga place, or anywhere or any place for you that's applicable where you want peace and quiet, where you want all of the views, all of the light, and then access to a rooftop. So you still have the uh, stone tiles here for the rooftop. And then lots of space for you to uh, accommodate family and friends. Uh, this is gonna be really beautiful during sundown or sunset or dusk. Yep. And you get to appreciate your tree.
All right. So enough of me marveling at this house. Let's now go to a recap, but first make sure you check out these modern buildings. Walking through here, I can feel the breeze and I love that. Okay, numbers. You have 690 square meters of lot area and then 1,200 square meters of floor area. Split between three levels. And guess what? This house was structurally built to accommodate more floors. So if you wanted to add more floors, no problem. Foundation and structure can definitely handle it. You have four bedrooms, six toilet and baths, and a six vehicle or six slot car port. Now the thing is, you saw the driveway, right? You can fit four cars in there for sure. And then the other two cars can be in the uh, lanai that you saw earlier. But Shampre, if you want that lanai, you don't really need lots of hanging. <laughs> and you don't really need that much car space, then just use the driveway, no problem. Now, where is this? It's in one of the most sought-after streets here in Ayala, Alabang Village. So if your thing is location, 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 well, this place has you covered. So you already have an amazing place, you have amazing architecture, lots of space and landscape. Oh, and if this is the kind of house that you or anyone you know is looking for, make sure you send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, as you should and gandanya in person guys make sure you send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com invest in your future invest with us invest with presello if you want to see more house tours make sure you click here and if you want to see more of our build your own or byos click here and if you want to see more of our other content click right here also, if you haven't subscribed, okay?